Do you want to migrate an existing WooCommerce store into a new site with all its previous orders, subscription and coupon details? Then you are in the right place. To begin with, let's have a look into how orders can be exported from our WooCommerce store. Get started by installing and activating the plugin. From the WordPress dashboard, navigate to the WooCommerce Order Import Export. By default, you will be taken to the Export window. The plugin gives provision to export or download your orders in CSV or XML format. The export feature comes with several inbuilt filter options. For instance, to export completed orders only, choose completed from the drop down menu. Likewise, you can even export orders which are processing, on hold, refunded, cancelled, etc. However, if you haven't selected any, then all the orders will be exported. To export orders for the selected specific products, key in two or three first characters of that product which then populates the list of products of your store. Choose the required product from the list to obtain orders containing those products only. You can also export orders of particular customers by specifying their email ID. Multiple users' order details can also be exported. To export orders redeemed with coupons, specify the coupon codes separated by commas in the field provided. If you want to export a particular set of orders only, then simply specify the number of orders to be skipped before exporting in the offset field and number of orders to be exported in the limit field. For example, let's give 10 in the offset field and 100 in the limit field. This means that the first 10 orders will be skipped and the rest of the 100 orders beneath it will be exported. If you want to export orders within a period of time, choose the start date and end date from the calendar controls. The orders specified between the dates will only be exported. Delimiter is a character which is used to separate the values in the CSV file. By default, a comma is taken as the delimiter. You can also use other special characters. The columns list out various order-specific details that will be exported. You can modify the column header by inserting appropriate value in the required field. You can name your export file by specifying an appropriate name in this text field. Check exclude already exported to avoid duplication while exporting. Enable this option to export line items into separate columns. To include custom metadata of the order in the export, especially from third-party plugin, then tick this checkbox. As you can see, the orders can be exported either in CSV or in XML format. Let's proceed by exporting it in CSV format. The exported file will be downloaded into your system. View the orders by clicking on the exported file. So far you have seen how the orders are exported from a WooCommerce store. Alternatively, if you want to export orders from other formats, just head on to Order XML tab. From the Export section, select the required format from the Order Export Type drop-down. Some of the formats supported by the plugin are the Stamps.com, FedEx, UPS Worldship and Indicia. Upon choosing the format and after providing export filter of your choice, you can export the orders very easily. Now that you have obtained the exported file, the same can be used to import it into your new store. Let's walk through the importing steps. Similar to export, import can also be done in CSV or XML format. Basically, the plugin offers three methods for importing. First method will require you to upload a file from your computer. The second method is to select a file from your FTP server. You need to enable FTP for importing orders using this method and then key in the rest of the details like the server hoster IP, username, password, port, and server file path. Provisions are given to ensure SSL encryption and enable passive mode also. Likewise, in the third method, you can provide the public URLs like Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. of the CSV file from where it will be downloaded for importing the orders. However, it's up to you to choose in which method you need to import the orders. We'll go with the first method. Let's upload a file from our system. Since the file has been uploaded, let's straight away navigate to the next option in the import. Update orders if exists, enabling this will ensure that existing orders will be updated with details in the CSV. 
if the user or a customer belonging to an order doesn't exist in the target site, a new user will be created on enabling. Leave this option unchecked if you do not want new users to be created. Specify the delimiter which is used to separate the values in your CSV. Usually, a comma is used as the delimiter. You can also use other special characters. If you have chosen to update order if it exists, then tick send mail on order status update to send mail to the customers whose order status have been updated. By default, the products are linked using ID to link through SKU, enable this option. Next, proceed to import mapping. You have reached the second step of the import process. Here you can map your imported columns to order data fields. Begin by specifying a mapping file name in the field so that it can be used later for future imports. Before importing the orders, please make sure you have imported all the users belonging to the orders you are importing. The custom mail field will be used to associate the orders with the users. If custom mail of an order matches with the user in the site, the imported orders will be associated with those users by default. If the user is not available and the create user option is enabled under the settings in the previous screen, the plugin will create a new user with the custom mail. If this option is not enabled these orders will be created as guest orders. Even though, by default, the WooCommerce fields are already mapped with columns, you can still modify the headers by choosing appropriately from the drop-down. Mapping is very helpful if you are importing CSV from some other e-commerce platform like Magento. Evaluation field is used to fix or update one or more fields with desired value across all products. This is not a mandatory field. Suppose, you want to add 5 to shipping total. Under evaluation field, write plus 5 in shipping total row. Similarly, you can assign a constant value to a field, subtract, multiply or divide a value, append or prepend it, and even convert the date format. Hover the mouse on the evaluation field header or refer our documentation to know more on it. Upon configuring, hit on Start Import to initiate the import process. You can see the progress of your import. And, finally, all the orders are successfully imported into your new store. Alternatively, if you wish to import orders into any other formats other than WooCommerce, go to the Order XML tab and click on Import Orders. From the XML type drop-down, choose the required format. Some of the formats supported by the plugin are the Stamps.com, FedEx, UPS WorldShip and Indicia. All other steps are similar to the one explained before, just opt for any import method and proceed further for a successful import. The plugin also allows you to schedule or set up a cron job for the import or export of orders. Navigate to the Import Export Settings tab. It is further subdivided into Order CSV, Order XML and Order URL, with respective FTP settings. Enable the FTP and key in with the FTP details. Then, specify the export path and file name in respective fields. Next, you will get the options to enable automatic import or export. Enter the required export start time and time interval in minutes for exporting the orders. As seen earlier, certain export filter options like the exclude already exported, export line items in separate columns, include hidden metadata, export orders with chosen statuses, products, as well on the basis of customer email, coupon codes, and particular date range are also included. Likewise, import can be scheduled by enabling the automatic import option. You can import multiple CSV files. In that case, just specify the directory path of each CSV file separated by commas. If only one file needs to be imported, then specify the file path including its file name. Some of the import filter options like create users, delimiter, update order if exists, link SKU etc. are also included here. In addition, you will have to specify the import start time and import interval for the automatic import. The mapping file saved earlier will be populated here for selection. Finally, save the settings. The Order XML section also has similar options for setting up cron jobs, with only one difference, in that the file to be exported or imported will be in XML format. The Order URL gives provision to import the orders from a URL. 
you will have to specify the complete CSV path including its file name. All other options are similar to that we have seen earlier. The import or export will be automatically repeated on the basis of the start time and interval scheduled, making it very convenient for the store owner. We have come to the end of this tutorial of importing and exporting orders. Do check out our playlist to know more on the import and export of coupons, subscriptions etc. Stay tuned.